For centuries, this blue lake remained hidden in plain sight. It was always there, but we could never see it with such clarity and detail until now. I'm going to reveal and explain the most breathtaking image, captured with the highest possible resolution, the photograph of the moon's blue lake. But it took many years and several overlooked photographs for us to realize its blue hue. This lake was first observed and photographed from orbit by the crew of the Apollo 15 mission in 1971. Its name is Ina, and it is located in Lacus Felicitatis, south-southeast of the Apollo 15 landing site. The first photographs captured were not of great quality, as they were taken in the late morning at very low solar incidence angles. This resulted in low contrast, limiting the visible details. Additionally, the image was in black and white and had low resolution, causing its greatest mystery to go unnoticed. A year later, in 1972, the Apollo 17 mission captured images under better conditions, photographing Ina early in the day and at a higher solar incidence angle provided greater contrast and striking details revealing just how unexpected this part of the moon's surface would be. When the Apollo 17 photos were scanned from the flight film, nothing unusual was noticed at first. The images had a greenish tint caused by fluorescent light reflections inside the cabin. However, when color balance was applied to enhance the image, NASA noticed something surprising. Ina had a unique color standing out on the moon's surface like a blue lake. Topographically, Ina is a lunar volcanic caldera. For a long time, it was assumed that its mounds were dark and blended with the surrounding landscape. However, not everything we see is truly what we perceive. It wasn't until we obtained the highest resolution image ever captured of Ina that we could appreciate its genuine bluish hue. This is the highest resolution image ever taken of Ina, captured by LRO, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, a U.S. space mission dedicated to lunar exploration. Thanks to this image, we can see that Ina has the shape of an uppercase D, and that its bluish hue makes it stand out impressively, almost like a lake on the moon. We can observe that along the edges of the mounds, there are steep slopes, evidence of inflated lava flows on the lunar surface. The heat and fragmentation from volcanic events eroded the terrain, forming elephant skin textures and erasing small craters. As the lava cooled, it contracted, creating the pits we see today, features that stand out remarkably against the moon's surface. Now we understand why it has such a strange shape, but why is it blue? The highest resolution image of Ina reveals its blue hue with unprecedented detail. While the colors may appear enhanced or slightly shifted, they are entirely real. The blue color is due to the presence of titanium, an event possibly occurring hundreds or even thousands of miles away may have affected this terrain. Streaks of titanium-rich material seem to have been scattered precisely over this peculiar region of the moon, giving it the appearance of a blue lake. We can also observe that other areas, despite having a similar terrain, display distinctly different hues for no apparent reason. This colored terrain suggests that the moon's surface is actually a mixture of various types of materials some likely originating from massive meteorite impacts, or the moon's original accretion, while others are the result of later geological events, such as lunar volcanism. This incredible and unexpected discovery reveals that the moon has an extraordinarily dynamic history of events that we have yet to fully decipher. Ina is one of the most enigmatic formations on the moon, its peculiar blue hue, volcanic history, 
and evidence of recent geological activity reveal that our natural satellite is far more dynamic and mysterious than we ever imagined. Each new image and every new analysis bring us closer to understanding the secrets the moon still holds. But how many more remain undiscovered? Perhaps in the future, new missions will unveil answers we can't even imagine today. What other mysteries do you think the moon is hiding? Thanks for watching this video until the end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me to create a community of people who love astronomy and astrophotography as much as I do. On the other hand, if you want to have the best space images in your home, you can get them from our website. There, you'll find many images to collect and enjoy for a lifetime. Plus, you'll be supporting the creation of more videos like this one. Shipping is completely free worldwide, so I invite you to explore our catalog. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video.